the worst couples ever. They're kind of acting like my ex used to act. What's going on guys, Shy Clips here once again, and let's try to show some wall clips of the worst couples I can find. The luck is my favorite clip will be at the end guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess this guy has his girlfriend over here, she's actually crying that her ex has a whole new girl. This is a huge red flag, and what this guy does next is absolutely correct and I don't blame him. Do you hear, do you hear what you just said? Yeah. You are crying over a girl that got pregnant. And the BD is your ex? Don't worry. I'm already with a flight back to New York. What? What? Bro, do you not hear yourself? You are crying. You're crying over your ex who got a different girl pregnant. And this next one, this guy definitely humbled this woman, basically. She is super shocked by his honesty. Due to the fact that he literally said, you are the side chick in majority of relationships, and he thought she was actually the side chick the entire time. If you guys don't know, she's been hooking up with a bunch of basketball players and famous people. And not a single one cuffed her, which goes to show that most likely she was a side chick. Out five, six years ago, men with lot, a lot more I to thought everybody finish. had so you as me... a side chick. I'm gonna be honest. I thought everybody else had you as a side chick, and he, listen, in a, in, a, in, a, in a male community, we know the chase that's like, yo, that side chick. And then and we, so know, we know the dumb who wipes up the side chick. And we're like. So what makes me a what? side chick? Because the, what, I'm beautiful? And no, no, because what? the one who everybody wants but doesn't wife, that's the side chick. Sorry. So who have I, who, who have I been side chick? You're a book. Who have I been a side chick? But I was never a side chick. Well, when you write well, a book about having cash, and by the way, not before. one of them claimed you. We assume, you, you know what men don't claim women? Because we have our real girl that we don't want to tell about you. You know that. And this next we have Aiden Ross over here. I guess this woman really called him just to like hook up and such. And he decided to give her this response. I do commend him for this because a lot of guys would actually fold, especially with his money and status. This could have been easily done. Hey, sorry, Mr. Call is busy. What's good? Why did you call me the devil? What's going on? How are you? I think the answer to that question is uh, never. I heard you broke your celibacy. We are not going to speak on that. You can come to the Bahamas. I've just been so locked in on this album. You know, I've been working on this album right now. Are you dodging me? Yes, I am. Why? Because I'm working on myself. I'm becoming a better version of myself. And now all of a sudden you want to come back and swoop in. No. Wow, I can't believe I just got Crazy. You did. All right, get off my phone now. Goodbye. And this sexless woman is saying that there are far more beautiful women than there are beautiful men. And I guess she is super shocked by that, but doesn't realize a majority of women are using makeup. Not only that, in my opinion, guys, a successful man will destroy any beautiful woman any day. The ratio of attractive women to attractive men is off. Makeup is a trillion dollar industry because all around the world, a lot of women wake up and they desire to look like other women and then they turn it into fake confidence to the point where they think they better than other people. But I blame the lame ass men out here who are always telling y'all y'all bad and beautiful. The women keep it real. They'll tell you your makeup looks good. They honest and they real slick. And this next one's little kid definitely got some crazier is, I'm not gonna lie. Really? Really, who's the finest girl outside right now? Right now, y'all have to say someone. Y'all snap, right? You, yes me. All right, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Lyft has a new feature that says women and non-binary riders can request women and non-binary drivers, but hear me out. Uh, what if as a man, I want a male driver because I want someone who knows how to actually drive. And this one actually had some high hopes for this woman. I thought she was going to give some good answers regarding what kind of bench she wants. But in reality, she decided to say this. And it's by far one of the worst answers I've ever heard of a girl's standards in my life. Asian man. 19 or older. I do race. I don't think I have one. So any? Any, yeah. Minimum height? 6'5". <laughs> I'm so sorry. Listen, it's not my fault. <laughs> Minimum income? Like 400k or more. <laughs> the probability of you finding your ideal man is a 0% chance. Stop your lying! <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Have a good And this next one, I do feel like this woman is a bit more realistic. Yes, 70k is a lot, but let me know what you guys think. In my opinion, I feel like if a woman wants this, she's still being reasonable. Would your boyfriend have to make a year for you to be happy? Happy. Maybe 70,000. 70,000? Why do you think that's a good number? Because I think you can be happy without money, like without a huge number. amount of money. Do you think that you should be making money as well or just him? I enjoy making money as well and learning, so for 
for me personally, I would like to make. And this next one, I'm not sure why this guy is just taking this BS from this girl. She ends up ripping his mom and is, I guess, just disrespecting him. And I'm not sure why he has to deal with that. What parents do for a living. My mom is a mother of eight kids. Eight? Yep. Wow, she's getting. <laughs> she's right there. <laughs> oh. Are those your siblings watching? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, I hope she didn't hear that one. No, it's all right. How about your father? Uh, yep. Yeah, he's no longer around. <laughs> I'm so Oh my god, it's not even I'm so sorry. Holy f this is the worst interview. I I'm going to be done here. No, it's all right. And this next one, this girl definitely does this on purpose. She purposely wants men to make fun of her, in my opinion, just for clicks and views on TikTok. And thankfully, nobody is really simping for her. Rate me out of 10. Zero. Why? <laughs> your voice is really annoying. So you wouldn't want me to be your girlfriend? Nah. Why? Uh, it just seems a little desperate. Oh, so is there, are you sure? Are you just saying that? I'm sure. Okay, can I have a high five? And this next one, it's just super sad that people really don't have that much education anymore. They know more about the Kardashians than our world in general. You. Very smart. Very smart. Let's see. Let's put it to the test. How many countries can you name? China? China? That's pretty small. Um, here somewhere? Correct. Someone wants a screw. I'm just working on getting stuff done lately. Okay. Can you add me to your to-do list? Sorry, I got somebody already. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is actually, I did think this girl got hurt very badly in the beginning, but thankfully, I guess he kind of fixed it. That fine-ass girl over there. You what are you talking about? Like that? I'm talking you about you. Me? I'm talking about you. What are you talking about? There's not even no one over there. I love you. And this next one is guys pretty much bringing up what I mean about how a successful man can destroy any good looking girl any day. They are so much more harder to find. And to be honest, if you are a successful man, a woman is going to chase you any day versus you chasing her. So get your money up if you have a hard time, I guess, finding a woman. Women are really supposed to be the ones chasing men. It's not a masculine feminine thing. That's not a masculine thing for men to, to chase women. If you look back in history, when we were kings, when, when I was a king, I don't know about you, when I was a king, women came to me. Women were fighting for my attention. Women were fighting to be my mate. Women were fighting to be queen. And this next one, this guy completely humbled this woman when she decides to rate herself one out of 10. Goes to show that she is making these numbers up in her head and she actually has no idea or doesn't care about what any other man perceives her. You rate yourself one out of 10. I can give myself a good 15. So you not understand the question. Then, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the question is one through 10. I have to break the scale. That's just sometimes I can see myself as a 15, but then, you know, I got my days I wake yeah, up. Do you, are you like, do you have issues with numbers? <laughs> Like, it's, it's one through 10. And this next one's guys 100% right. This girl's an absolute dime. This is Holland's new girlfriend. She has no Instagram. That is the dream of every man today. A beautiful girl that has no Instagram. That's a unicorn. But she's never been in the street. Been married for one week. And I'm finding out that my wife would rather make sandwiches for Pokemon uh, than for me. And I don't know how to feel that about it. Not but it's a true one. Yes, it is. <laughs> In this next, we have a typical clip of where a guy ends up finding out that he is not the father. And in my opinion, I have no idea how women are allowed to sleep with so many men and don't even realize who the father is of their kid. That's just absolutely astonishing. The case of four-month-old royal, Harold, you are not... <laughs> And this next one, I'm not really sure what answer this woman expected from him. In my opinion, I think he said it perfectly. Do if I told you I wanted to involve other people in our life. Better be women. I'm all for it, bruv. Trust me, we can have a triple threat. We can have a fatal four-way. As long as the gal's nice, you know, them way there. And obviously downstairs ain't smelling like fish because I don't eat fish. And this next one was absolutely dumbfounded by this guy's question. Shave your head for V for Vendetta. Mm -hmm. um, did you also shave your V for vagina? Um, pass. And this next one, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is honestly very annoying. I don't know why you just can't get your own food. When you told him you didn't want any food, <laughs> Let me look. but his food looks good. Three minutes. Three minutes. Let me have a bite. <laughs> Eight. 
And this next one, this woman definitely got shocked by this man's honesty. You're kind of acting like my ex used to act. Well, that's it for you guys. Much for watching, guys. The next one. Take care. Peace.